Dead by Daylight has a massive cast of characters, all who offer unique playstyles to choose from. Unfortunately, most of these characters are behind DLC packs which usually cost 7 bucks a piece. I'm Christian from Genuine Chill, and I'm here to help anyone who's on a budget decide what DLC will be worth the money by going over the effectiveness of the perks and playstyle of the killers. The Halloween DLC introduced two horror icons into our game, Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. Having these names alone would convince most people to go ahead and buy it, but now as the famous killer cast has stacked, Myers and Laurie have some competition. So you may be wondering, why should I choose Myers over Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, and now the pig? Well, let's see if I can help you answer that. Let's start off with the legend himself, the shape in the dark, Michael Myers. All killers come with their own unique ability, and Myers' ability is so faithful to the character. Evil Within is a unique ability that allows you to stalk the survivors to gain power. You'll start at level 1 with a very small terror radius at the cost of a small lunge and a slow speed allowing you to sneak up on survivors. As you stock and gain meter, you will reach level 2 which will grant you normal speed, attack lunge, and a smaller terror radius than the default that most killers already have. Now when you reach level 3, every hit you do will be an instant down no matter the health, while your terror radius will become massive, but you have a very large lunge range and increased vaulting speed. The thing is, Myers doesn't really have an answer to pallets, which is usually important in higher ranks, but what he lacks in that department, he makes up for in stealth and pure lethal damage. There is a small learning curve to Myers, but I honestly believe if you take the time and play him, you'll understand his playstyle very quickly. So if you are someone who is wanting to learn killer or just don't play killer very often, I will say he's an okay choice for beginners. There really isn't anything bad to say about Myers as a killer, in fact, I personally will put him up there as one of the most balanced killers in the game, with or without perks. However, I will say he is definitely one of the most fun to play. Myers' ability is so faithful to him that you legitimately feel like you're the horror icon himself as you sneak up on survivors and create your own jump scare scenarios. If you want to feel the power of a horror icon, Dead by Daylight has you covered with this DLC. Now let's talk his perks. Dying Light is a pretty straightforward perk. You have an obsession the game picks for you, and you must kill them. Once your obsession is dead, the rest of the players receive a penalty against speed, healing, and sabotaging speed for the rest of the game. In exchange, your obsession will have an increased altruistic speed, meaning unhooking and healing will be faster for them. It's a pretty decent perk in my opinion if you have the right tools, and you could actually make a pretty decent build out of it, although I would say never rely too heavily on it or else you'll let everyone get away and do gems while you chase down your obsession. Play with your food is another obsession perk that gives you tokens every time you let your obsession go in the chase. These tokens give you movement speed increase up to a stack of 3, but any offensive actions such as attacking or saying hurtful things to people will cause you to lose one token. I wouldn't really recommend this perk mostly because at best you could get a 15% speed increase for a bit, but that requires 3 chases to be broken meaning you lost your target, so I don't think this is such a good trade off especially since you could lose these tokens resetting you back to your normal speed. Finally, Save the Best for Last is yet another obsession perk that grants you a weapon attack cooldown reduction after being in a chase for 20 seconds as long as your obsession is alive. However, you will lose that cooldown if you're not in a chase for 5 seconds and or if your obsession is dead. This is another perk I can't personally recommend. This perk has received a major nerf in the past and it really has been the same since then. Your cooldowns are only active during the chase and while the reduction is pretty nice, there aren't many situations where this perk will give you a great advantage to you, especially with the requirements needed for you to get it to begin with. Now moving on to one of the most iconic final girls in the entire game, Laurie Strode. Survivors aren't really as in depth as killers if you really want to boil it down, you're paying for the cosmetic model than their actual perks since you can actually unlock all perks in the shrine and they don't have an ability that is unique to just them. However, if you like the model or you just don't want to pay the shrine costs to unlock the perks, here's what the Scream Queen has to offer. Decisive Strike is one of the best perks in the game. It is your get out of jail for free card. If a killer downs you and picks you up, you could trigger a skill check that will cause you to stab the freaking killer and then stun them while they get away. This makes Lori one of the most savage survivors in the game. Like, y'all think Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna let some jive ass motherfucking killers lay a hand on her? Uh, hell nah? Uh, it, it, anyways, it's hard to argue against this perk unless you have a certain build in mind. But this perk in some situations can be the deciding factor in being sacrificed or surviving the game. Next is Object of Obsession, which is a perk that reveals the killer's aura to you or your aura to the killer when you look at each other within a certain range when you are the obsession. I 
really don't see how this is a benefit to the obsession because if the killer is running Dying Light or if the killer just hasn't found anyone, then you gave him a lead on finding somebody, which is you, which means he's gonna go straight for you. You can argue that you could use this to avoid the killer, but I would say the risk is not worth the reward, which I'm actually saying reward in air quotations. Also, if you happen to not be the killer's obsession because someone else decided to run an obsession perk, now you have a perk that just basically is useless and won't work. Finally, we have Soul Survivor, where you will reduce the killer's aura reading ability by a certain percentage every time someone has died. Again, this is another perk I can't recommend because while it can disrupt perks like barbecue and chili, I still don't see why you shouldn't run something like Spinpers for self-care in it, especially if the killer doesn't have something that allows him to read auras to begin with. And there you have it, all the abilities and perks laid out for you with some hopefully constructive criticism to help you decide if this DLC pack has something you like and are willing to spend money on. But let's just go ahead and recap over the pros and cons of the pack as a whole. The pros of this pack are, you have two horror legends available for you to play as. The killer's ability is faithful to him and makes you feel like an actual horror icon. While the learning curve for the killer isn't actually too steep, so I would say he is beginner friendly. Plus, I have a guide on my channel if, you know, you need help learning that. Just, just saying. Also, this killer is extremely fun to play and always guarantees a good time. It also includes one of the best survivor perks in the game that will get you out of trouble guaranteed. And also, Lori Schrode is an absolute savage. While the cons of the pack are 4 out of the 6 perks aren't exactly viable while the other being decent. If you have no interest in playing the killer, then I honestly wouldn't say this pack is for you. And also, if you don't care for playing as Laurie Strode as a character, then it's honestly just better to buy a decisive strike off of the shrine. When it comes down to it, your choice in buying this pack will count heavily on the fact if you're interested in playing Myers. And if you are, I can say you won't be disappointed. But if you don't play killer, then I can really recommend this pack to you since, as I mentioned before, you can just buy Decisive Strike off of the shrine. But that is the end of the video. I really hope I helped you make a decision on the pack. And if you have any more questions, you can always leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.